Uh, what can I say? I've been paying a lot of attention while I've been in Korea to things going on in Canada politically. Um, I mean, yeah, I see headlines from time to time, but now this whole coalition government, uh, coalition to out oust the Tory party in Canada who's sitting in, in power uh, has really caught my attention. And what, what really gets me is just how bloody hypocritical the Tory party is. Uh, if you've paid any attention to the news, um, you know what's going on. If you don't, brief recap. Uh, the Conservatives formed a minority government, which means they don't have enough votes to be the full government themselves. They need backing. They need help from other parties to stay in power. If not, one non-confidence vote and boom, they fold like a house of cards. And this is part of the Canadian political culture, the Canadian political scene. Minority governments have been around for a long time. Um, coalition governments formed by a minority more blah, blah. the party who has the most votes but isn't a majority getting other parties to side with them to form a coalition government is not unusual um, what is kind of unusual is that you have a minority government sitting and then the, the opposition parties get together as a coalition to try to oust them and that's what's going on now in Canada. Well, Captain Crybaby, I mean uh, Prime Minister Harper and his merry band of whiners um, are all up in arms because of this coalition government. The uh, Liberals, the NDP, New Democrat Party, and the Bloc Québécois, the Quebec Separatist Party, are all joining together to oust the Tories as the government to form their own coalition government. Um, the Tories, of course, are making comments like it's outrageous that you would use separatists to form a government. It's treasonous to do stuff like that. And this is what some of their supporters are saying. Uh, it's kind of interesting to read the comments and what makes it very hypocritical is that well Paul Martin and the Liberals formed a minority government Stephen Harper went to the NDP and he went to the Bloc Québécois and tried to form a coalition government to oust the Liberals who were sitting in power then that was a great idea now because it's being used against them oh I want my mommy bloody hypocrites not only did they try doing the same thing with the coalition their first minority government was kept in power by siding with the Bloc Québécois <gasps> Ooh, they used the treasonous separatists to form a government that was okay because it was the conservatives doing it God forbid someone else do that bunch of whining hypocrites I never thought I'd say it, but they're actually giving politicians a worse name. Um, so the Tories are all pissy that they may lose power. So what do the babies do? Oh, we're going to take our ball and go home. They were looking to prorogue Parliament, uh, basically shut down Parliament, and reopen it maybe two months later. In I guess that would be February. They were going to try to get the Governor General's permission to do that. Um, which goes completely against what Stephen Harper said when he was in opposition. Of course, that's not unusual in politics for any side to do that. But well in opposition, Stephen Harper made the statement that the a government should not try to stop a vote of non-confidence. But of course, now that he's in power, ooh, he doesn't want that to happen. So the baby would rather take his ball and go home instead of having that happen. Oh, poor Stevie Poo. Frickin' hypocrites. Oh, 
So, I mean, the situation politically is pretty screwed up in Canada right now. And what brought all this on? Well, instead of actually, hmm, I don't know, trying to tackle the financial crisis that's happening, Captain Crybaby and the whiners uh, decided that they would cut government funding to political parties, um, take away the right to strike from government workers, little things like that that really wouldn't help the economic crisis that we're in and would only piss off a lot of people, including the opposition parties. I mean, where's his freaking brain? Oh, sorry, I don't know if he really has one. So, at a time when the government should be trying to help Canadians weather this economic crisis, instead he's just pissing people off, and he has no plan. So, Stevie baby, you're getting what you deserve. A kick in the ass. I don't know if the coalition will be better or worse than you, but if they actually try to do something to help Canada weather the crisis, um, they'll be doing a hell of a lot more than you've done. So, to you little Tory whiners and that, stop being hypocrites. Actually try to think about your country first and what's good for it instead of lining your own bloody pockets. <sighs> that felt good. I haven't talked about Canadian politics in a long time.